Welcome back everybody, thank you for tuning in. Today I'm gonna to show you and tell you about some of the common issues that come with centrifugal superchargers, specifically the Paxton supercharger, I have personal experience with. Um, and I'm gonna show you some of the issues and how you can fix it as well. So without further ado, let's get into it. But first, but first, before we get going, make sure you guys to the channel you see our shirt's a little messed up like and comment <laughs> if you got any questions number one issue that everyone sees no matter if you're a paxton guy um you got a pro charger uh whatever you may have um it's false knock especially on coyote cars if, if you see false knock false knock is basically where your car will pull timing because uh coyote knock sensors are very sensitive and what that'll basically do is it'll pull the timing um, because your car is making noise in the engine bay so if you have pipes touching uh, if you have uh, exhaust touching which is my issue basically the way to fix that is a lot of people think you should put higher octane fuel in there if higher octane fuel takes away your knock you have real knock and you have a big issue the way to fix it make sure all your clearances are, are, are nothing's touching make sure no piping's touching your exhaust isn't touching uh, make sure everything is clear and you should be good as far as not goes. The second problem, which is pretty common with a lot of Vortec guys, Paxton guys, um, I don't know about Pro Charger guys or not. Um, this is more like a factory kit issue, I guess you could say. Some people see it, some people don't. Um, the coupler's blowing off. Oh my God, the coupler's blowing off. Uh, the worm clamps that they give in the kits just don't seem to do well under the boost pressure. And if you tighten them too much, they kind of break. Um, what you could do, to offset that is buy T-ball clamps, which you are seeing in the video uh, that you're looking at right now. The T-ball clamps will basically, uh, they'll go around the coupler um, and they'll they'll ball all the way down. Um, and it is make sure it's really tight. Now they can break too, but it's kind of really hard to break them. You had to tighten it all the way to break it. And since I've been using the T-bolts, I haven't had any issues. Oh, Cause of course, if you, I don't, if you don't have any couplers on, you have no boost. And sometimes if it comes off a throttle body, your car will completely yeah. shut off, just like you're seeing in this video right here. Third issue a lot of people complain about, um, which I've seen in a lot of the forums, is the surge or flutter when you're driving, kind of half throttle, your car kind of goes in and out, it doesn't want to go, uh, you know, smooth into the power, caused by your blowout valve. Um, the factory blowout valve is pretty good under, you know, that factory setting and the factory calibration that comes with the kit. But once you try to turn it up, add more boost to it, it doesn't really work too well. So what you, all you gotta do is uh, basically upgrade your blow-up valve. You can go to the Pro Charger blow-up valve. Most Pro Charger guys already have it, um, the big red one. You can do the, uh, the Max Flow blow-up valve, the, the race one that I have on my car, which will make your car sound like a jet. Um, there's a bunch of other ones you can go to, but that's mainly the fix for that. So if you're struggling and you see your car is kind of like surging it just won't give you the power it's kind of like on and off the throttle feels like that's probably your blow up valve fourth one is blow by blow by is something basically when you have crankcase pressure which is pressure in your engine from going in and out of boost and basically the oil just splatters out everywhere just see the pressure builds up and the oil goes everywhere there's two ways you can offset this uh one is better than the other crankcase breathers which i run right now um as oil starts to come out they'll get used up and you got to kind of change them um they're good they're a good way to basically just relieve the pressure straight to the atmosphere so you don't have a lot of pressure build up because with these setups you can't have a lot of pressure build up in your engine because you can blow your engine um from what i'm not understanding or you're going to want to get uh, a catch can I believe upr makes a catch can for the packs and setups um it may even work for pro charger guys and uh basically It'll, uh, it'll work to vent the, the, the pressure in the crankcase and catch the oil and recirculate it back to it. Last thing that a lot of people complain about is, uh, and this is more like a nitpicky thing, not really a big issue for a lot of people, some people it is, it's just the low torque that comes with uh, PAX and Vortex setups. Depending on the head unit you get, um, you'll have higher horsepower numbers significantly more than your torque numbers. For example, uh, you'll see some dyno charts they'll read like 640 horsepower and like 490 torque, <laughs> way off. So the way to offset that is basically is two ways. 
smaller pulley. The pulley that comes with the, the kit from, well, for the packs in 2200 is a 3.8. You go to a smaller pulley, which will, of course, build boost faster. Um, but of course you have the, uh, the risk of going too high in boost. And then depending on what year you got and what car you got, you may not want to go too high in your boost because you don't want to blow your engine, you don't want to risk anything. Then you offset that by adding in a, uh, a wastegate. So basically you'll have all the power come in as quick as it would with a smaller pulley, but it'll bleed off through the wastegate. So if you want it at 10 PSI, you keep it at 10 PSI. If you want it at 15, you keep it at 15. But you can have like a 15 or 20 PSI pulley, whatever it may be, and it bleeds it off and that'll keep everything safe for you. Those are uh, things to look out for um, before you buy a Paxton or after you buy a Paxton uh, if you have an issue. So if you enjoyed this video, found it helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Once again, don't forget to subscribe. Browse the channel for more and have a nice day.